Hello, Leute. It is Tennis Apple 2 here, and today I decided because we've had so many new people come to the channel, and because I only recently actually got most of it finished. Today, what I wanted to do is show off the place that I have lived for most of the time that I spent on this world, and that is right behind me, the castle. Now, first and foremost, uh, I should clarify, I did not initially intend to have just a weird-looking castle in the middle of a city that I built. So. If it seems a little out of place, it is a little out of place, because when I first built it, this was actually the second thing that I built on this little, uh, this little desert area. So you can see right there, that is like my original town that I lived in, and then this was a small Xbox 360 style world, and so this was like, you know, going across the bridge, was going across the ocean at that point. And so when I came over here, the first thing that I built was actually the pyramid right here. And obviously the storage, but I don't count that as a build. So we built the pyramid, and then I'm like, you know what? It'd be really cool if I had a castle. And so I have lived there for most of the time, and let's go show it off. So before you actually enter the castle, you'll notice this big old 1,000 sign. It's also like, there's a big old 10,000 sign you may have seen as well. I built these when I hit like milestones on my channel. So when I hit 1,000 subscribers, I made this, and I made a video out of it, but it was very cringy, so I ended up privating the video. So... Yeah, this is, that's what that 1000 is for. When you come inside, uh, what you will first notice is probably just how barren it is, because for it being a castle, there is not much in here. So, in each of the four corners, we have beacons that, I mean, if you look in the corner, you can see I don't have any effects right now. Half of them seem to work, half of them seem to not. I think that's the only one that does technically work, and I don't know why some of them don't work. Because I've powered them all, and they used to work even on Windows 10 Edition, which I'm playing on right now. They've always worked on Windows 10 edition, and so I'm not sure why half of them just decided to shut off, but eh, it is what it is. What else? So we have in the middle here, we have the, this is like the only thing that I built for like the longest time in the castle. We just have a throne here. I figured if I'm going to have a castle, I may as well have a throne since I am, you know, the king of this world. So, I mean, that was really just out of pure pettiness that I'm like, I'm the king. I deserve a throne. So that's why that's there. And then these on the side, I kind of thought of them as guards for a little while, but in all honesty, they look nothing like guards. This was really just to like show off the uh, armor that I have, as well as some of the mob heads and some of the other cool stuff that I've collected. I think it's neat, but they're also horribly out of place, so I don't know. I wish I had a better idea of what to do at the top. We also have just like sporadically placed here. I have a big old map of the world that for some reason, I was trying to eat bread. For some reason, this did not count for like the three by three map thing. I don't know why I walked up to this. I tried to use it and for some reason, even on a wall, this doesn't work for three by three. So if you notice any pixels missing out of them, let me know because this should work, but for some reason it doesn't. And then back here, I think it was for the birthday of my world. I made like a little fireworks display that I have not used since. So yeah, and then finally up here at the top, you'll notice some signs that kind of reach around like a wall and a half. And these are just the names of anytime anyone donates when I'm doing a live stream or anything. I just, out of appreciation, I put a uh, sign with their name on it going all the way around the castle wall. And I don't know, I just think it's a fun thing to do. So that's pretty much all we have up here at the top. The top is pretty barren, but that is because I've spent most of the time down here in the basement. So the first thing you'll probably notice is the stupid amounts of chests that I have down here. Now, it didn't initially or didn't always used to be like this. In fact, up until like about two weeks ago, all of these chests that go like from here all the way to the wall, all of these were not here. This used to be like an empty area where I had like a really crappy bedroom that I hated. If you want to see it in my last world tour, I showed it off. Was never a fan of it. I wanted to get rid of it for the longest time. But this is now just a chest area that pretty much mimics what we have over here. So I'll just show it off over here. What we have, it's basically just like hundreds of chests that house anything and everything I could need. So we have like, you know, building materials. We'll have food over here, mob stuff over there, wood, valuables, just a bunch of rent. Like, you know, it's just a giant chest room. So pretty much any block you could think of in Minecraft, I probably have in this chest room. And if I don't have it in this chest room, I probably just don't have it at all. So, yeah, I don't know. And also, at the ends of each of these, I wanted it to be, like, each one looks the exact same. All of them look like this. I don't know. I just think it works very nice. And you can also hear the cows <laughs> below me where I have the farms. But, yeah, I don't know. I have the anvil so that I can name stuff or add an enchantment anytime I want. And then 
love having these furnaces they're very useful i only really use them for like iron or food over there so don't get a ton of use but i love them before we actually move on to the rest of the basement though i do want to show off this is one of the older things like the castle itself is obviously one of the oldest things because i created it i think not even a year into the world but this area down here is also like an ongoing project that i have been working on for the longest time and it's not just a normal mine so when you first get down here i built this little room but out here you will notice i have mined just probably hundreds of thousands of blocks down here and just cleared it all the way out so we have this giant open room right here i used to have i mean it's still here but it doesn't work anymore this used to be a slime chunk and so i would have slimes like spawn up above and then funnel them into here where i could just punch them but sadly for some reason when i transferred it from i think i created this on the xbox one edition so when i transferred it to bedrock edition and then to windows 10 edition somehow it just broke and stopped working so this is kind of just a relic of the past and then pretty much everything else is empty and if i ever need slimes they spawn all the time and i should also say this used to be a rail duplicator because i used to love making rails so i built this stupid huge contraption that has like way too many hoppers and then i couldn't figure out how to do an item sorter so i just put rails that went to all these chests that also are not organized so yeah this is def this is definitely a relic of an older time in which i was very bad at most of this and then this is just random stuff if there's any spillover like cobblestone we probably have cobblestone i don't know where i would have it well there's some rails yeah i just have if there's anything that doesn't fit in the chest room upstairs i just throw it down here so yeah that's that's basically just the giant open room okay so back up here at the normal basement that is pretty much it for the top actually no there is one more thing over here i did have a little exit because a lot of people hate having to go through the castle like, I have these elytra so that I can just fly out very easily. But if you don't, it's kind of a pain. So I threw in a nice little horse stable back here. We have a normal horse stable, but it's it's on the other side and it would be such a pain to just walk over there. So I have my horse, Zeus, and then if a guest wants to come over and someone did leave their horse over here, they can leave him here and then you can just exit out the back into my city. And it, you know, it doesn't look perfect. But I just like how useful it is, because for the longest time, I would constantly just have to run out of here. And that, I know it's minor, but I, that's one of the best features we have. And then the most recent addition is this area down here. So this area down here, I have actually created all of this within the last, like, well, I guess not all of it. But I've really made it look like this in the last two weeks. So right here, we have our nice little enchanting table. Pretty simple. We just have a whole bunch of enchanted books anytime... I need or anytime I have levels like you can see I have all netherite stuff with like the best enchantments you can possibly get like even my bow is like a legacy bow from when you could still get mending and infinity on it so I don't really have much of a need for enchantments anymore so anytime I get excess levels I try and just like throw them on books in here and we have like stupid amounts of extra books so you can always throw it onto one of these books over here over here is one of my favorite things it's our little farming area now i have been roasted time and time again every time i do a live stream about why i didn't make these like automatic farms and that is because you would think a lazy person because my, my reasoning for not doing that is i'm just lazy so i just like mine it all by hand but i feel like it'd be easier to just do that so maybe someday we will turn these into automatic farms but for the time being i think they just look nice and then going in order from farthest to closest over here we have an automatic chicken farm where there's some chickens in the back and it just pushes the chicks into here when they grow they get killed by the lava and uh, all of their good meat goes into there as well as the feathers we have a semi-automatic sugarcane farm that just oh i hate that i hate that it just pushes the sugarcane in but as you can see it misses quite a bit and then we have these hoppers that collect it into a nice chest right here here we have a fully automatic cactus farm it's this one's a very simplistic design that you know a lot of these other farms will get fixed from update to update this cactus one has worked for the entirety of the time i've had it even since like the 360 days so this is a very good one to have i i would recommend getting a cactus farm like this and then here we have mushroom just because i absolutely love mushroom and i had one mushroom in the original island and i just bred the hell out of these uh, mushroom right here and i brought them over 
and you'll notice that they have names. These are similar to, like the names I have on the wall. Recently, if someone donates during a live stream, I'll just name a mushroom after them. So, I like it. I, I think it's very nice, but I think that's about it for the farms. What I really also like about the farms is you can see these windows up here, and we'll go around to show that next. I love the way farms look. So I built my bedroom right here. It's a pretty simplistic one, but I built it so that it would overlook the farm just because I think I, I just love looking at the farm. And so very simple. Got a bed, got some storage up here, have a uh, ender chest. Sorry, it's an ender chest um, in case I ever, you know, die and need to get my stuff back. And yeah, this is just a very, a very small thing. And then over here, the subway, like the rail system that I have, this is like the only thing that actually existed in my basement before I remodeled it. So that's why you'll notice it doesn't entirely fit the same design as everything else. It's basically just a rail. This one will take you over to the subway that we have. And then this one over, or not the suburb, it'll take you to the suburb. And then this one will take you all the way back to spawn. And if you want to see what either of those are, if you haven't checked out my world tour, I go over all that stuff in depth. So you should check those out. Uh, moving along here, we'll actually follow the right here. This was going to just be like an empty space because I had this tunnel here and we had the rail and I didn't know if I wanted to do anything with this room, but people absolutely demanded during one of my live streams that I made a pool out of it. And so we came in here, just threw some water in here and we had somebody joined named Jubbins. And for some reason, that name just made me laugh so hard that I decided to name the place. At first, it was called Jubbins Pool, but people very quickly called me out and said, you're an idiot, why don't you call it the Jacuzzi? So we have Jubbins Jacuzzi here. I think it's beautiful. We also have this lifeguard here. That was an armor stand that I had just sitting in here because, like I said, I, I remodeled this. That was something that I just had here, and so I left it right exactly where it was, and now he guards the pool. And then backtracking a little bit, over here I have, this room was kind of just a random room that I didn't know what to do with, because initially I wanted to make it like a snow farm or a snowball farm, whichever you call it, where I just have like a snow golem here with a piece of obsidian where I could just endlessly mine snowballs to use for snow. But for some reason when I put my snow golem in, and I, I didn't have the torches here, he died every time. I made him like four times, and every time, just standing right here, he would just take damage and die. So, I'm not sure why this room is just absolutely cursed, and so I decided to just throw in some cats instead, and we called it the Cat's Quarters, because hopefully the cats will ward off bad spirits, I don't know. I don't know, that's just a funny one that I have in there that when you pass, just constantly has the cats meowing. Over here, we have, this was another room that I wasn't really sure what to do with, and so... I kind of just randomly made it into a little armory. I have some of my best armor with the <laughs> wooden hoe that I accidentally made. And then I have just some extra armor. The chainmail, that's another rare one. So I just wanted to put some of my best armor that I had in here. And then we just have room for storage. I think this is the only one that I actually really have anything in. We have a ton of arrows that we got from the XP farm. So it's, it's, it's a very nice place. I enjoy this armory. And it's very nice to just walk past and hopefully eventually I'll actually put some armor in there. This right here is a pretty small thing, but I think it looks absolutely lovely. Um, much like some of the other places, we just had some empty space right here, so I just decided to throw in an aquarium. And getting those fish was such a hassle, especially that little, I think it's a tomato fish. Tomato fish are hard to find. So this was a tough one. And then I have a painting right here, but you know that it has to have a little secret room. So the secret room doesn't have much going for it at the moment. It's mainly just under construction. I brought some materials over to set it up. But at some point, we will have a very clean looking, clean looking secret room. But remember, don't tell anybody it's a secret. And then I should also show we have the little ladder. I couldn't think of the word. We have a ladder right there in case the scaffolding gives you any trouble. So yeah, that's most of what we have in the basement. And then the real reason that I wanted to spruce up the basement is because of the thing down here. And this hallway took forever to make. It, it took a couple hours to make this, but it is well worth it because I have had an XP farm that is, and you'll see, my castle's right there. The XP farm is right over here, but it has not been connected the entirety of the time that I had this world. So the main reason for building my basement was just so that I could get to this XP farm right here. So the skeletons obviously fall down here. I used it pretty recently. As you can see, my tools are all healed up. They fall down here. You can either one hit them or up the stairs when you go to where you have to sit. 
Um, I have a little shulker box with just splash potions of instant healing. So you can gather a bunch of them up and then throw a splash potion on them and it'll heal them. And so the way that this thing works, I'm not going to go inside because I hate getting attacked by them. So if you come up here, you can pull this lever. It turns a light on and off inside of it. But inside of that room right there is actually where I have the spawner. And so, yeah, they just spawn in there. Can you hear it? Yeah, you can hear the water going through there. There's water that just funnels them down to a little hole that runs all the way through there, right past here, and into the bottom, all the way down here. And so when they fall, I think it's like 23 blocks. As you can see, I punch them and they instantly die. And then you just get their XP. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for my basement and for my, uh, for my castle. A lot of it is very new, so I just figured it would be helpful to show this off. Uh, if you liked it, I would love it if you left a like. If you're new here and you haven't already seen my world tour, I would suggest checking that out because I, I have a world that I'm very proud of. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys next time. Tschüss.